Hello everyone and welcome back to Rayman 2 The Great Escape on the Sega Dreamcast. I'm Omar Sheep and today we're going to finish off the Cave of Bad Dreams and oh my god what's happening this guy, whoa, <laughs> that face. Alright this is basically the part I was on about in the previous part where I said this used to freak me out as a child. The camera zooms in to the guy's mouth and uh... I don't know, this used to really freak me out when I was younger. It's just very scary. You just got these teeth. You just got these teeth chasing you. It's just, what? And of course, whenever you get too close, he'll start snapping at you. And uh, basically, what you want to do is go as fast as physically possible here. If you slow down too much, you're going to die. So don't slow down too much. Avoid all the walls and just keep spamming your energy pellets. If you don't spam the energy pellet, he's going to catch up to you, he's going to hurt you, you're going to die. So yeah, just uh, keep away from the walls and just slide down as best you can. Fortunately, the slide section isn't that long, it's actually quite a short segment of the game. Now we're on to the boss fight, if you could call it that, yeah, itself. Now why do I say if you can call it that? Well, simple. This is not really so much of a boss fight as it is a boss chase. Now, um, whenever you run up to the platform that he's on, like there, for example, it can si it's considered a hit. Now, what do you need to do? You basically need to chase him throughout this entire hallway, jumping through the platforms as you come nearby. And he doesn't really have a health bar. The fight automatically is ending once you reach the very end of the platforming segment. Now, for this platform by you, you might be wondering, what do I do? I can't get by. Well, it's simple. He's going to start throwing skulls at you. Charming. So what you want to do is actually hit the skulls with your NG pellets so you can fly across, jump across and uh, continue moving onwards. Every time you get to his platform you gain an extra checkpoint. So every time you fail you don't have to worry about backtracking too far because you'll be pretty much right by where you were. And for the most part this is all there is to this. He's going to continue spamming fireballs at you that are exceptionally easy to dodge. Don't worry at all about the fireballs. And um, you don't even need to rush so much. You just have to take your time and know when to jump. And that's all there is to it. Like, uh, you don't even need to collect... Well, actually, one minute on by, you need to collect the lums. Lums are there. Lums are needed. Ah, words. But basically, you need to try and just jump across and avoid all the fire as he's shown, shooting at you. Whenever you're on the large, large gaps like this, he's going to throw the skull thing at you again. So just rinse and repeat the same tactic. When you're on the final jump, however, which is coming up pretty shortly, you're going to want to actually time your hits on his skeletons he's going to throw at you. And you need to time it perfectly, otherwise you're not going to make the jump. It is very, very awkward to deal with, especially on the N64 version where the draw distance isn't all there. Of course you want to actually jump on the platforms, because <laughs> uh, suicides is not really a good thing to do, in my professional opinion. But again, very simple, it's not too bad a segment of the game, just rinse and repeat everything, and Bob's your uncle. Now you want to try and... Um, Try and hit the skulls quite early, but not too late. As basically, you need to hit the skulls as they're at the perfect distance, which means it can be very, very difficult to do like that. I almost failed. It's You demand perfect accuracy to get through this. But with that done, you might see a little glowing tint in the distance over there. Well, what's that? Oh my god, it's gold. This is what I like to call a golden opportunity. <laughs> so, um, basically, yeah, this is our reward for beating the big bad boss himself. I don't know his name, actually. I, I, I really don't know his name. It just I just always refer to him as that one creature. But, of course, now he's going to offer us a choice. We can either leave the cave with nothing, or we could leave with all his treasure. Now, obviously, do we get a choice? In a way, yes. You get a little checkbox by here saying, yeah, I want the treasure or no treasure for me. Now, if you say I want the treasure, you'll gain a little alternate ending, which is actually pretty neat. I like this. There we go. Rayman's fat. We're rich. And uh, we get to die in the middle of the ocean. That's the end of the game, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a good game. I like this LP and uh, I catch you all again.
Nah, just kidding. Instead, we are going to click on no, because otherwise we won't be able to progress further. So no treasure for me. He's going to say, hey, you've made the right decision in not choosing to steal all my gold. Here's a life up MacGuffin. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the level, actually. It's a, um, it's one of those levels that a lot of people don't really like for some reason, but I'm one of the few that do enjoy playing through it. Got some good platform challenges. It's not too bad, though. So yeah, we get the Elixir of Life, which we need, which basically means now we need to head all the way back to Menher Hills, and, uh, yeah, meet Clark. I skipped the entire stage because you need to play the stage all over again, so... Just give him the elixir of life and uh, see how effective it is. Oh, whoa, that was a quick effect. <laughs> There's one hell of a. Whoa, what the hell happened with his eyes? Did anyone else see that? I'm gonna go through this frame by frame to find that. That's mad. But anyway, to help us, he now blasts through the wall. And that's basically our way to go now. We can go down here, however. And this is basically an alternate exit that leads nowhere. If you want to leave the level here and not progress, take this exit. I'm, I want to progress, I want to beat the game. So I'm going to go and follow Clark. So yeah, Clark's going to basically follow you throughout this, all these hallways here. So what you basically need to do is go across and do a couple of platforming challenges. Like by here, jump on this box. It's some purple lums, very easy to miss. I can see a lot of people actually getting confused just because of the way the camera is in this level because by here it's so difficult to figure out where you're meant to go on your first time run. But of course basically just go over the wall like I did and open up the switch which will allow Clark to blast right on through or walk very slowly. Well I wouldn't really say walk, he's more like waddling but eh, I don't know. Although one thing has always confused me about Clark, why is his chin so huge? Like it's like he, like those uh, pelicans. You expect him to carry like goods with him. Oh my God, there's a missed opportunity on Ubisoft's part. Clark, the 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 the, the, the I can't remember the word. The word pack mule of the game. That's the one pack mule. I'd love that, actually. Ubisoft missed opportunity. I'm disappointed in you. But anyway, by here, first things first, we want to free this cage. So, we. But, of course, nice and tranquil. Now, what I'm failing to show you right now is actually there's a couple of hit... There's one more cage in this area. And it's actually extremely, extremely easy to miss. Um, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna die in a minute. So, basically, I'm gonna go through all of this and show you the cage. But basically, this is the final segment of the stage. It's very short, it's very easy to get through, to be honest. I do die, because I'm an idiot, but... For the most part, if you if you know what you're doing, you can get through this, no problem. Usually, I get us through this one run try, but of course, the Let's Play curse, you know, it causes me to get crushed. So, of course, the respawn basically indicates... Oh, look! There's a Lum over there, so I'm gonna, I go to collect Lum, and there's vines. So climb up to the top of this vine, and you're gonna see a fantastic cage. Unfortunately, the cage doesn't contain five Lums. And unfortunately, we don't got, we basically, we don't get 100% of the stage, folks. I don't know where those Lums I missed are, but yeah, I'm unfortunate. I'm quite sad of that, actually. I would have loved to get 100% of the stage. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, as long as I get through the game and that's all I care about ultimately. So there we go, it's time to do this for good this time, and basically what's going to happen is you're going to progress all the way through the end of the stage, after exploding again. Don't worry, I think this time I, I make it. <laughs> but this segment by here with the barrel, really short, trust me on that. There we go. Ah. You're gonna learn to either love or hate these barrels. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love these barrels to play with. Like, whoa, 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 great man, calm down. But I don't know. The control is really, really not so much loose. It's kind of just hard to turn. Like, if you turn, you can't turn very tight. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's very difficult to turn on this barrel. So. I can see a lot of people having a lot of issues, to be honest. Sadly. 
Oh well. What is going on here? But that's basically the end of this level. There's nothing much more to say. The level's simple, <laughs> to say the least. So, with that, folks, I'm going to call it a part here, because why not? So, thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Don't be stupid, people. When we return next time, we'll tackle the next world of the game, which will be the Canopy? Is it the Canopy? Yes, it is. This is Canopy. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!